Have you ever wondered about the different types of diabetes? It's a condition that affects millions worldwide and understanding the differences can make a significant impact on how it's managed. There are primarily three types of diabetes, type 1, type 2, and gestational diabetes. Type 1 diabetes, also known as insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus, primarily affects children, adolescents, and young adults. Individuals with this type of diabetes require insulin therapy because their insulin-producing cells have completely lost the ability to produce insulin. They make up about one-tenth of all people diagnosed with diabetes. Next, we have type 2 diabetes or non-insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus. This type is either due to the body's inefficient use of insulin or a resistance to the insulin being produced. It is the most common type, accounting for around 90% of cases and is often referred to as adult onset diabetes. It is also more common in overweight individuals and can sometimes be managed through weight loss, dietary changes and regular physical activity. The third type is gestational diabetes, which occurs in pregnant women, usually between the second and fourth trimesters. While it typically disappears after the baby is born, it can increase the risk of developing diabetes later in life for both the mother and the child. Now, it's important to remember that many times the symptoms of diabetes can go unnoticed. They can include frequent urination, excessive thirst, increased hunger, rapid weight loss, fatigue, blurry vision, slow healing wounds, recurrent infections, numbness or tingling in the feet, and more. If left untreated, type 2 diabetes can lead to complications such as vision loss, heart disease, kidney failure, stroke, the need for limb amputation, coma, and even death. Diabetes is diagnosed through a blood test that measures the amount of glucose or sugar in the blood. A fasting plasma glucose level of 7.0 millimoles per liter or a random plasma glucose level of 11.1 millimoles per liter is indicative of diabetes. In a bid to raise awareness among children affected by this disease, researchers from the University of Hertfordshire in Britain are developing a robot that can educate children about the symptoms of diabetes. This robot is designed to help children between the ages of 7 and 12. In conclusion, understanding the different types of diabetes and their symptoms is crucial for early detection and effective management. If you or someone you know is experiencing any of these symptoms, encourage them to get tested for diabetes. Remember, early detection can make a significant difference in managing this condition. Stay informed, stay healthy.